Life is about experiences. The good ones, and the not so good ones. Our experiences are what gives our lives meaning. They become our memories. They make us who we are. So tell me, have you experienced Jesus in your life? The greatest experience of all. Well, Laura, it's great to, to actually have you with me. I, I could see, I, I am just a lover of your tattoos and your oh. earrings and, and you, you're you more of a Rocky Road Christian. I, I've always said that that Christians Christianity has a lot of flavors. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the vanilla and mm -hmm. also to the Rocky Road. They're all different types of flavors. Yeah. I consider you more of the, the Rocky Road. But I've also said many times to people um, on this TV show, that even though your rocky road doesn't mean anything that you can't pursue God, can't pursue Jesus. So tell me why um, you do what you do, you have all this, and how has that really, <laughs> has it affected you in some way with people judging you? And um, I know you've experienced Jesus, and I want to talk about that mostly, but I love the fact that, that you are standing out strong and, and you're <laughs> your own individual, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, so praise God. I'm actually a musician. I've played drums for over 20 years. I grew up here in LA and I pursued the whole music industry, you know, in the mainstream world, you know, not you know, not within worship music or anything like that. I okay. grew up in a small Bible study. I didn't know that worship music existed even. All right. But um so yeah, I went through an entire, you know, rebellious phase, if you will, you yeah. know, when I was playing in bands like out of Orange County in LA and um found myself in the midst of things that were just not glorifying God and I knew that you know in my heart of hearts that wasn't something I was supposed to be doing but okay. um, God how did it really, change for you? It changed when God brought me to the church that I attend now. He just he got to me in a point in my life that was the lowest and I grew up you know knowing about God's love but never really having experienced just the depth and the weight of what that means, you know, okay. what it meant for him to send his son for me, but wow. um, he he got to me at a point in my life when I was just not seeking him at all and um, just became so real to me and uh, the church that I go to now, they have a huge worship team, we got like a sound stage, we have several, you know, we're just, we're really blessed with all the musicians that we have and all the people that, you know, are involved with that and it Great. finally made sense to me why, you know, I've been playing drums, like, I'd been playing professionally for about four years before wow. that, but yeah. been playing for a really long time, but it all made sense to me as to why I do that, and, and why God's even blessed me with the, you know, the giftings that He has, and it's for Him, and it's for His kingdom, so for His God. glory. So praise you're God. doing that now? Completely. Yes. You're a drummer for a worship team? Yes. Praise yeah. God. So now you have experienced Jesus. How long have you been experiencing Jesus? For how many years? Um, I actually, you know, grew up in a, in a really small Bible study, you know, so I've known about it the whole, you know, my whole life. My dad Talking is a when minister. God, oh, your when dad's he, a minister. Yep, right. and a cop, <laughs> okay. LA County Sheriff. Great. But, um, so God just like, you know, I really fully experienced him though when, um, about like three years ago, probably, when I really fully dedicated my life to him and just gave him everything that I have and everything that I am and am just you know, doing my best to pursue him. Great. Yeah. And bring so him. you you do a lot of worship. Uh, you probably <laughs> study the Bible a lot. You know His Word. You love Him with all your heart. I'm sure. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All of those things, most definitely. I play for a Christian rap artist now, and then I have my own, you know, our own project where we're actually writing um, worship music and stuff. That's. Um, you know, it's just an honor to be able to be doing something like that because, like you said, it's it's more surprising when people see somebody that look that is, you know, all tatted up and everything, and yeah. they and it doesn't surprise me, but it does affect it, a lot of others. It does it does surprise a lot of people still, I guess, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, but I just think it's awesome how God uses all different kinds of people that you know that look different, that have different backgrounds, that are different personalities, because there are some people that would 
never dream of talking to me, they would go and talk to somebody else and exactly. you know, and vice versa. So well, that's how big the body is. So yeah. when you look at the body, you look at all the parts included yes. in the body, and you're one of those parts. Yes. And God, um, you would never be able to influence a you know somebody who let's say it was a white flavor to the point they might judge you, but you could actually inspire people who might not know God, mm -hmm. but through these this sort of look they might respect and come to a personal relationship with them and that's how god works right it is praise yeah. god yeah. yeah amazing well thanks so much for being on the show thank you my you pleasure bet. <laughs> Bye -bye.